Hi there, this is going to be a special love reading for the sign of Libra. Hi Libras, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the cross watcher of the Libra. This is for October. Happy birthday to you. Right now, while I'm recording this, is Libra season. Your card is trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Feels like somebody knows the answer to something. They know what it is. But their desire of what they want it to be is what's fucking them up, is what's is is what's putting them out of alignment. It's like you know that it's not this option or you know that it's not this thing or it's over or that it's a new beginning or whatever it would be, however it would work. But like your desire for what you want it to be is clouding what the actuality of it is. You got to trust what it is if that makes any sense. Trusting what it is, not what you want it to be. What you, but by doing that, what you're actually doing is prolonging what is for you. You're prolonging it. Justice, Libra. Justice is a karmic lesson, but it's you. It's, it's like trusting you. Trusting what you feel. Wheel of Fortune, destined and faded. I saw it clear as day in my head. Something is destined and faded. There's victory here. There's some kind of victory that's destined and faded when the wheel turns out. It's sudden change. This is also luck fortune in your new cycle you're going to be getting what you deserve you know what i mean getting your due justice if you will in your new cycle but if you're in the old cycle it's not coming and it's very frustrating for somebody because they keep saying like well where's the new beginnings where's the new beginnings but you're not in the new cycle so how is there going to be new beginnings two of pentacles one foot in one foot out See how he's kind of being the hot stepper. One foot in, one foot out. That's what I heard. One foot in the new, one foot still in the old. See, still focused on the past. Five of cups. Someone is still, they're not allowing complete closure or letting something go completely. The star. The star is Aquarius. The star is healing it's hope it's a wish there's a lot of healing here that needs to be done someone here needs to let go of an aquarius yeah because it's them being focused on the aquarius or the energy of that right so it's focused on the cups that have already spilt it's something that's no longer and you see what's behind them so the longer they do this and and fuck around with that they don't see that it's prolonging what's for them some could be an aqua Some it's you in your own way, right? The Libra. And also, this is about someone just, it's their wish. They want it to be this particular thing, but it's not. But because they want it to be that so badly and not letting go of it, it's what's fucking it up. Page of Wands, younger fire sign. This is also someone looking at change, looking at making a move, but they don't do anything. Strength of Leo. See, I told you they wish for it. Nine of Cups. They want, they wish it to be this, but it's not that. It's something else. Strength to Leo. So some of you, it's a Leo. Some of you, it's having the strength and being courageous to let it go. The Devil, Capricorn. Seven of Cups, confusion. So someone feels trapped and confused. The reason you feel trapped and confused is because it's not for you and you're being caught in a karmic cycle. You're, you're just repeating. It's like a hamster wheel for some. Now, for those of you that are not doing this and are trusting that it is what it is and not what you want it to be, the wish cards, because it came out twice, yeah, with the star and the nine of cups, it's extreme wish fulfillment with this wheel of fortune and the six of wands, getting exactly what you deserve in a good way. 
Knight of Swords, younger air sign. This is also, it could be like arguing, blunt communication, right? No sugar coating. And the Chariot Cancerian. So there could be some kind of an arrival, the arrival of blunt communication, right? Somebody who is telling it like it is. The Chariot is something that arrives, that comes in. So is it this? Is it happiness that comes in, right? Ten of Cups is happily ever after. Fairy tale. Feeling of having it all. It's literally having it all. Is it that? Is it something else? It's like a birthday wish. And if you were to wish for what's really meant for you, it would manifest instantly and your wish would be granted. But somebody keeps wishing for the wrong things. Message of concern. So that could be that Knight of Swords that I felt earlier. Um, meaning that like you keep wishing for and asking for things that are not good for you, that are not meant for you, that are that are other people's partners. Or you see what I'm saying? Things like that. Community. There's some kind of a tribe here. A soul tribe. Somebody's soul tribe is encouraging this fuckery. And that's why it's so important to have people around you that are very supportive and are ride and die, but they're also really honest with you too. Otherwise, people will, will feed into your bullshit and add to the delusion now. It's very important to have people that say, listen, I, I know this is what you want, but... In the house, moving... Someone could be purchasing a home, selling a home, moving into a new home, like, you know, just change, right? The house is also where we go to take our hat off and like put our sword down, where we go to relax. The house is very symbolic because it's about like a four of wands energy, right? So it's like marriage and union and all of those things. But it feels more symbolic than that, the house. There, there's some kind of symbolism behind that that you'll know, like when you go, oh my God, I know what that means. <laughs> all right hold on we're gonna go into the extended very shortly and to purchase that click on the link below it will be in your october extended readings i want to thank you for your likes your shares and your subscriptions here on youtube please be sure to follow me on instagram xi underscore missy underscore xi look you have lightning sudden change shocking news that's at knight of swords surprise epiphany upheaval or transformation there is great change coming here this is the problem too, is that if they're showing you that a particular person or situation is not for you and you don't listen, they it will it will it will hurt you, right? So you may end up getting fired in the end if they showed you that that job ain't it. Or like if they keep trying to show you this person is not it and to let them go and you don't, the person's gonna end up hurting you somehow, some way. Something is gonna be a sudden shock. And it may not necessarily be a bad thing, although there could be a sudden ending. All right, let's go to your extended. I will see you guys there, okay? Love you.